How Fuses Works in PCB Board Printed circuit boards PCBS, are the backbone of virtually all electronic devices, providing both the physical structure and the electrical pathways necessary for circuit connections. One of the essential components in a PCB is the fuse. A fuse is a protective device that prevents overcurrent conditions from damaging other components. Understanding how fuses work on a PCB is crucial for designing reliable and safe electronic circuits. Before moving forward, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for future interesting videos. What is a fuse? A fuse is a safety device designed to protect electrical circuits by breaking the circuit when the current flowing through it exceeds a certain level. This prevents excessive current, which can cause overheating, fires, or damage to sensitive components. Fuses are typically made of a metal wire or strip that melts when too much current flows through it, thereby interrupting the flow of electricity. Types of Fuses Used in PCBs There are various types of fuses that can be used in PCBs, each suited to different applications and environments. Some common types include, glass tube fuses are one of the oldest types of fuses used in electronics. They consist of a glass tube with metal end caps, and the fuse element is enclosed within the tube. SMD fuses are compact and designed to be mounted directly onto the surface of the pace B. These fuses are often used in applications where space is limited and high reliability is required. PPC fuses are resettable fuses that do not need to be replaced after tripping. They work by increasing their resistance when the current exceeds a certain level, reducing the current flow. Once the fault condition is cleared, the fuse cools down and resets, allowing current to flow normally again. How fuses work in a PC. The primary function of a fuse in a PCB is to protect the circuit from overcurrent conditions. When designing a PCB, the fuse is typically placed in series with the power supply line so that all current flowing to the circuit must pass through the fuse. Here's a step-by-step -step explanation of how a fuse operates within a PCB. During normal operation, the current flowing through the circuit is within the fuse's rated capacity. The fuse allows this current to pass through without any interruption. If the current exceeds the fuse's rated capacity due to a fault in the circuit, egg, a short circuit or component failure, the fuse element heats up. Once the temperature of the fuse element reaches a certain point, the material melts or vaporizes, breaking the electrical connection. After the fuse blows, the circuit remains open and no current flows. At this point, the fault must be identified and rectified before replacing the fuse. Selecting the right fuse for a PC Choosing the appropriate fuse for a PCB is critical to ensuring the safety and reliability of the circuit. Several factors must be considered when selecting a fuse. The current rating of a fuse is the maximum current it can carry without blowing. It is essential to choose a fuse with a current rating slightly higher than the normal operating current of the circuit to avoid nuisance blowing. The voltage rating of a fuse indicates the maximum voltage it can safely interrupt. The fuse's voltage rating should be equal to or higher than the circuit's operating voltage. The braking capacity, also known as interrupting rating, is the maximum current that a fuse can safely interrupt without causing an explosion or fire. Placement of fuses on a PCB The placement of fuses on a PCB is crucial for ensuring effective circuit protection. Fuses should be placed in locations where they can easily disconnect the circuit in the event of an overcurrent condition. Here are some considerations for fuse placement. By placing the fuse near the power input, it ensures that any fault in the circuit will cause the fuse to blow before the fault can cause damage to other components. Fuses generate heat when they blow, so they should be placed away from heat-sensitive components. Adequate spacing and ventilation should be provided to dissipate the heat generated by the fuse. Testing and maintenance of fuses in PCBs Regular testing and maintenance of fuses in PCBs are essential to ensure that they continue to provide effective protection. Here are some steps to follow. Regularly inspect fuses for signs of damage, such as discoloration, cracks, or physical deformation. A damaged fuse may not function correctly and should be replaced immediately. Use a multimeter to test the continuity of the fuse. A functioning fuse should show a low resistance value, indicating that it is still intact. Fuses are a critical component in the design and operation of PCBs, providing essential protection against overcurrent conditions. If you enjoyed from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks for watching.